Welcome to a Blender basic tutorial. I noticed that there are a lot of tutorials for arrays like chains on YouTube, but I haven't seen a brief and easy tutorial for something like a railroad track. So I'm gonna show you a quick and simple way how to make a procedural railroad track in Blender. In general, you need two curves as the metal rails and between them wooden planks. At first add a curve and set up the rough course of the track. Then model the profile of the rail and convert it to a curve. After that, we want to bevel this profile along our curve. Up next, we need a plank, which is basically a cuboid. Use the array and curve modifier to duplicate the plank along the curve. Switch the fit type to fit curve to always have the right length of the array. Now we need the second rail. This should not be a copy, but follow the same curvature. So we create a new path and use again the curve modifier to let the new curve follow the curve of the main rail. Now bevel the rail profile with a second rail as well. Increase both curve resolutions to 64 to have enough geometry and prevent visible corners. And that's basically it. You can now build the track with the main rail and only adjust the length of the second. This works of course in every dimension. If you want to get rid of the deformations around the corners, you have to make one further step. You just need to use placeholder objects and copy the undeformed planks on these. For the placeholder, just add a plane, array and curve it again on the rail path. Don't move around the plane because for the next step, we need the same location. Add another cube and form the plank. Make the plank a child of the placeholder plane by clicking the plank, then shift click the plane and press Ctrl P, set parent to object. Then go to the object properties of the plane and select instancing faces. You can turn off the instance of visibility. Now place the undeformed planks perfectly below the rails. And that's it. No deformations on a procedural railroad track. Have fun computering and see you soon.